Hey y'all, day two. Oh, let me get this camera set up straight. I don't, there we go. There's the pretty background we like. There we go. Okay, so day two after I had the pixel treatment yesterday at Park Avenue Aesthetic. And as you can tell, um, and I put some makeup on. It feels very tight. But you can see, because I didn't put makeup on my chest, this is a lot more red and irritated still. This still feels like it's a bad sunburn. My face is just beginning to feel kind of tight, like maybe tomorrow it's going gonna, it's gonna to want to peel. Uh, right now I'm just keeping a lot of moisturizer on it. But I decided to try makeup and just see what it would look like. So, uh, first of all, I moisturize with a nice coating of good old Egyptian magic, which is basically just a lot of, it's some, just some very moisturizing ingredients that are, um, that some just forms an occlusive barrier that are, um, it's just really natural natural substances that aren't going to irritate you. Uh, you could also use Eucerin, just that you can get at the drugstore. I also did, uh, last night I put on Burt's Bees, just because it's very, very gentle and it has all natural ingredients, just different kinds of oils, like healthy oils. The other thing I found, um, good old favorite, Elizabeth Arden 8-Hour Cream. Um, this I put on my neck especially because it's just extra dry and still kind of, it's more cakey or flaky feeling, although it's not flaking yet. Um, so those are the three. The important thing is like moisturize, moisturize, moisturize. So I did that after I put the video up yesterday. And then I just kept it all flicked on. Uh, stayed home last night. We had dinner in and um, kind of made sure that I was trying to face up. Put, put, a, put a towel down on your pillow because you'll get every greasy everywhere. Then this morning it was fine and I kept kind of putting on the night. I just would kind of rub it around. If I, like sleep on my side on the pillow and then turn out and it would be dry so I'd kind of like move the squish the stuff around and move the grease around my face and kind of keep it really moisturized. I did that again today and now it is four o'clock as Eastern time as I'm putting this up. So I just went in and put on makeup. I had to wash my hair because it was super, super greasy. Um, so I didn't really finish but finish the flat ironing part of it. But anyway, I found earrings that matched my hair. Isn't that cute? blue earrings for the blue hair. So the makeup that I used, um, and this is a little preview to a video I have coming up because we're going to do a whole thing on Korean beauty products. I went to K-Town a few days in a row because one day is not enough. Uh, Koreatown here in New York, which is on 29th Street between 5th and 6th. Oh, I spent so much money. But I found some great products. That's coming up next week. Miss Naomi uh, is editing that as we speak. We shot it last week, so we will have that for you. However, what I did, so after I slicked up my face with some Egyptian magic, I put on uh, the Tony Moly Intense Care. It's a CC cream, so it's really, really moisturizing. It has an SPF of 50, and this stuff is, it, and this, is, this could be a little bit too greasy for some people. Um, and it has, it's really, look at how, it's just so heavily pigmented. So what it does is it cuts all the red. So even if you have capillaries or rosacea or something like that, this stuff is so, it's just incredible. Um, anyway, it's just, it's, it's amazing. Like look at the quality of the coverage. It's just pearly. And it's got a bunch of good ingredients in it. And so far my skin has taken to it really well. I'm, like I said, I'm gonna keep, keep reviewing that one for a while because I've just started using it. Um, but it's really, really pretty. And then on top of that, Everybody's favorite go-to, we love good old Mac Studio Fix. I just put that over top of it, um, trying to keep the keep the redness down. And I gotta tell you, I wish I had a better camera so you could see. It's not bad. It's a little, it's tight. Like I said, it feels like tomorrow it's gonna peel. So I'll I'll put another video up tomorrow just to just to let you know. So to sum up, so the pain went away. So I had it done yesterday morning. Very painful for like, not very, it was like a bad sunburn. Painful-ish for like four hours, and then it completely goes away. Except for down here, it still feels more like a sunburn down here. And you can see, I showed you yesterday, still that, still that line. So it still kind of looks like more of a sunburn down here. I don't know, maybe the skin is more sensitive here. Um, and then to recap, there are a few questions from yesterday. Pixel is a laser. And it's more about tightening, firming, and fine lines. It's not so much for pigment. That is a photofacial. There are different kinds of other lasers that you can, or light therapies that you can use for discoloration. This is really more for fine lines, little wrinkles, 
a little bit, it gets a little bit of firming. Um, that's what this is for. And it is a type of laser. So it's, it's pixelated. It's also called pixel fractional fractal. It's a CO2 laser that selectively zings little holes in your skin all over. But it doesn't like fry the whole thing off like those old CO2 lasers used to do. And then you were out for weeks and it was oozing and painful and horrible and quite dangerous because there was a risk of infection. This is not that. And initially you want to have maybe five of them done. That's what I did. And the first one I did, I had three days of red and hot. And it wasn't painful for three days, but it was just red and, and, and kind of unsightly. But since I've done it several times and I've done, um, I'll go back for sort of a touch up once a year. It's not nearly as painful. So, and she did it on a pretty high setting. Again, I went to Park Avenue Aesthetics. Helen did it. And um, I've had really good luck with them. So anyway, I hope that you guys, if you decide to try it, tell them I sent you. They better treat you right. I'll have words for them. Yeah, they're really, really nice people. Um, all right, so if there's anything else to tell you, I will let you know tomorrow. Uh, I, I suspect it's going to be a little peely. But I think tonight, I mean, I can go out like this. I'm going I'm to definitely change what I'm wearing. I don't know. What possessed me? I never wear blouses. I think I just, ugh blouses. It's, I'm not a blouse person. I think I just, I, I don't know. I thought, oh, everybody's doing like this blouse sweater thing with like leather pants. No. What was I thinking? It's from Zara, so I'm not a big waif, but I'm changing clothes before I go out tonight. All right. So uh, that's so far the update on my latest pixel. And if there's more to tell you, I will let you know tomorrow. All right. Y'all stay as fabulous as you can stand to be. I'm Maddie Roberts.